there's one principle we very much believe in, and that is partnership. Partner partnership among the most diverse, I would say, stakeholders. The, uh, the new program will work on first the approaches civil society can take in terms of working in a harmonized way, coordinated way. It will work on access to social services and to strengthen capacities of civil society organizations, always with a particular focus on victims of trafficking human beings and uh, migrant domestic uh, workers. We are also so pleased to work with the International Federation of, of Red Cross because we, 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 are, we are convinced that they will help us in reaching out, uh, uh, I mean, uh, civil society in order to, uh, to uh, I mean, to really uh, work uh, fully in uh, uh, the framework of our commitment uh, for migrants' rights and in our commitments against uh, trafficking of, uh, of human rights. And I don't think I, as I said, I am in a better, in a better, I couldn't, I couldn't be in a better location to ask, uh, in the framework of the policy forum, to ask all the civil society organization and also local actors to really to participate in this, in this, in this, in this action. Because if we, if we really are uh, meant to be successful, it because it will be through, through your, your full participation in this, in this, in this process. One one point I would like I would like to 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 add. I think that with this uh, project uh, we we I think that we will uh, I mean collectively contribute to the UN post 2015 agenda and the consideration the due consideration of uh, migration issues in this in this in this agenda. We are really very pleased, very excited to be here because for us it's a kind of. Uh, this project is an instrument of change. Change inside as a network. <coughs> we represent a network of 189 national societies, 70 million volunteers, almost a million of staff in different projects and associated with the national societies. But we are not enough, and we know that. We are just a part of the picture, and we need to work with others. And our uh, main substance is related with create spaces for play the auxiliary role with the governments in independent and impartial way, including private sector, focus on social responsibilities and creation of spaces for the communities, and include well the communities, both as a creators of development as as a beneficiaries of the development. And this is our uh, choice. As an organization, as a federation, we are changing a lot inside. Then we need to play also the role of uh, serving as a, and having an integrated and impartial approach, both in substance and in methodologies. We are really working on that, and this project is helping us to do this job. We are also charged by something that for us is very important. It's, uh, we are instrument of action, but for us, for us, action is not only action in short term. For us, action needs to be done in a way to create residual impact that allow the communities be owners of their destinies. And for us, this is a kind of other golden rule to work. For this project, we are trying to play all our rules, but also play well as a part of a team we are building a team, we are building a system, we are in making a network. And for that, civil societies organizations are the magic. You are the magic. You are uh, allow this system, the global system, to be there, to be close to the community in the last mile. We need to have a last mile approach, and you need to be accompanied. The task of the federation and the national societies in country will be to support this model to support this approach, to be able to, to represent well all this action, all these instruments to protect migrants for reasons of labor, domestic uh, workers, or migrants that are suffering from human trafficking, to protect them into the local and national systems, advising the governments, advising the other actors, but also 
supporting the voice of the civil society organizations together to create balance in the way that we approach the cases and the problems. Migrants are not only people with needs. They bring a lot of skills, opportunities for the countries. The host countries could have a big impact using them well and uh, allowing them to be part of the creation of resilience. Just as a piece of information, uh, between 50 to 100 million uh, people around the world are domestic workers and many of them are migrant domestic workers and actually uh, the whole feminization of migration is um, for a, a big important um, part um, happening because of migrant domestic workers because so many women leave the country to take up work as domestic workers. Now um, the convention was there, it was really needed because domestic workers including migrant domestic workers were systematically excluded from national legislation. With the, uh, regarding the four P's, of course, in the framework of our, of our program, we will be mainly working in the area of prevention and, 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 and protection, and certainly uh, awareness uh, raising, which uh, again, I think is an important, is an important element for all, for all of us, but also the, the provision of direct uh, assistance to, to the victims in the area of healthcare, legal 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 assistance uh, training etc uh, and uh, i would like uh, to i mean to to make the emphasis on the on the rights based approach the commission is committed is committed to not only in the area of migration but in the area of development cooperation as, as such and for me awareness is a key factor to present the problem like the problem is this is number one being neutral in the judgment, in the presentation of the problem. Second, it's about advocacy. Advocacy needs to be done in different ways, not only in the political side. Advocacy means change the culture. Many people, citizens, are afraid with migrants, are afraid with IDPs, are afraid with the presence of them. They are not including the people in the normal life. And there is a collision, a clashes that we need to try to solve. And the, the, the civil societies organization, Red Cross and Red Crescent Network, the institutions like DEPCO needs to play the role to serve as an instrument of peace, reconciliation, and good practices in programming, allowing these communities be together and achieve solutions that include all the capacities from the migrants and from the hosted communities. The third factor from my side is of course related with the title of this project. I love action. For me, for me, Red Cross is action. Uh, all these things, advocacy, awareness without action, are floating in the vacuum. And we need to be very serious. Action means the moment that the people, the migrants, have the rights and the instruments and the equipment in their hands to be able to be free, to really don't require us helping them. We need to achieve this moment. This is a kind of indicator that I would like to put in the substance of this kind of project. And, and the last one for me is very simple, but it's, very, it's my dream, or it's the dream of the Federation, it's the dream of DEPCO, it's the dream of everyone here in this room, I hope so. The dream to normalize the situation of people. They need to become, again, normal citizens in their countries, in other countries, but we need to create spaces for them in all the trade.